Hey there, pilots. Welcome to a new Mech Spotlight. You're just in time. The Mech we're looking at today is fresh out of the factory, ready to kick ass and take names. I'm actually not too sure about it. Doesn't this stalker thing look kind of flimsy? Come on. What did we learn in all the previous spotlights? Never judge a mech by its stats alone. Exactly. So it's true the stalker doesn't have top tier energy capacity or heavy armor to take on the enemy head on. But that's not what you're supposed to be doing with this mech. What are you supposed to do? Stalk, of course. It's all in the name. Oh, so we've got another sneaky, backstabby ambusher on our hands. Pretty much. I mean, you do have some flexibility with this puppy, but ambushes are where she'll shine. Okay, so walk me through it. Sure thing. So Stalker here has a maximum energy capacity of 24. Not the best out there, but it's nothing to sneeze at either. You'll definitely be able to carry some really big guns. With HP, it's a similar story. While it isn't that much compared to some other mechs, it's not the worst either. What about speed? Speed is pretty decent, which plays well if you prefer to flank the enemy and bide your time for a devastating strike. All right, so Stalker isn't slow, but I'm still not convinced. What makes it stand out? It's natural predator drive. Predator drive? Yep. That's the name of the Stalker's ability. When activated, it gives a huge boost to the damage Stalker dishes out. Like, 50% huge. Wow, all right. I see how this thing can bring the pain to just about anyone. It sure can. There's a catch, though. While Predator Drive is active, Stalker takes 25% more damage. But it also has parts of its HP restored if it kills an enemy mech. Pretty neat, right? Right. I'm beginning to understand why it'd make a great ambusher. Catch an enemy unawares, pop Predator Drive, and they'll be scrapped before they know it. Exactly. You just need to be careful with your timing. You don't want to catch a load of missiles or railgun rounds while you're vulnerable. That'd be nasty. And speaking of missiles and railguns, what weapons would you recommend for Stalker? Predator Drive is an awesome ability for pretty much any weapon, so you've got plenty of flexibility. Want to be a sniper? Grab a pair of long arms and enjoy boosted shots. Prefer to get up close and personal? Missile racks or carbines will be your best friends. Though, I'd say focus on burst damage and avoid anything meant for prolonged combat. You don't want to expose yourself for too long. Oh, I know. I'll use javelin racks. Long range, 50% damage boost. It's a recipe for success. Sure. Just don't forget to combine them with a chicken skin while you're at it. Then again, if you're going down that road, why not load up on some rocket mortars? Go even longer range to counter the javelin rack meta. That's a good point. But I take exception to your chicken skin comment. Everything's fair in Mech Arena. Yeah, yeah. But just be careful. If someone gets close enough or gets a lock on you out of cover, you're toast. Not to mention Zephyr coming at you with its shock pulse or your opponents teaming up with Ares to hide behind its shield. I mean, yeah, that comes with the territory. And while Stalker doesn't look slow, it's not exactly kill shot. Any other tips to counter it? Well, its HP isn't that high to begin with, and if Predator Drive is activated, it's going to be more vulnerable too. So just be Han Solo and shoot first. <laughs> Easier said than done. All right, so it seems like Stalker is just one more menace to watch out for. You're right about that. It's not too different from watching out for Zephyrs or those pesky Sniper Panthers. Well, you've convinced me. Stalker looks like a solid mech. It's a good choice for pilots who value damage over anything else. You just need to be extra aware of its vulnerabilities. Good call. Well, that about wraps it up. We hope this gave you some helpful insights. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time.